Hello student, myself Ashish Shabla and today we study about some more properties of triangles related to angles. Okay. Uh, let's say there is a triangle ABC. And there is a bisector OB of angle B. And there is a bisector OC of angle C. Here, in this triangle, OB and OC are the angle bisector of angle B and angle C. Now we have to show that or we have to prove that angle BOC is equals to 90 degree plus half of angle A. We have to prove that BOC is equals to 90 degree plus half of angle A. Now uh, to prove this consider triangle BOC in triangle BOC uh, as OB is the angle bisector of angle B so this angle OBC is half of angle B angle OBC is half of angle B OBC is half of angle B same way angle OCB OCB is half of angle C because these two angles are equal because OB and OC are the angle bisectors so these two are equal so we can say that OBC is half of angle B same way here OC is the angle bisector so therefore these two angles are equal so we can say that OCB is half of angle C now in triangle BBC we apply the angle sum property that is angle BOC plus angle OBC plus angle OCB is equals to 180 degree angle BOC plus angle OBC is nothing but half of angle B angle OCB is nothing but half of angle C is equals to 180 degree now angle BOC here we take 2 as I assume we get here angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree and angle B plus C can be written as angle BOC plus angle B plus C can be written as 180 degree minus angle A 180 degree minus angle A because because in triangle ABC sum of all the interior angle is equals to 180 degree so from this we can write B plus C is equals to 180 minus A now angle BOC plus 180 divided by 2 we get 90 degree minus A by 2 is equals to 180 now angle BOC angle BOC shift 90 degree to the left right hand side and minus A by 2 also on the right hand side we get 180 degree minus 90 degree plus angle A by 2 180 minus 90 we get 90 degree plus A by 2 so angle BOC is nothing but 90 degree plus angle A by 2 so here is the result so the next result of the triangle is that next result that is let's say there is a triangle ABC the exterior angle B this one the bisector with the exterior angle B and the bisector of the exterior angle C 
meet at O, let's say O. So therefore, this angle BOC, that is angle BOC, is nothing but 90 minus half of angle A. We have to prove this. That is angle BOC is 90 minus half of angle A. What we have given that OB and OC are the are the bisector of exterior angle B and C. Exterior angle B and C. Now, again to prove this, that is angle BOC is equal to 90 minus half of angle A. Now again we consider triangle BOC, triangle BOC. Now, as we know that uh, the internal angle B plus exterior angle B is equal to 180 degree. Angle B plus exterior angle B sum should be 180 degree so exterior angle B can be written as 180 minus angle B in the same way we can write exterior angle C is equal to 180 degree minus angle C now as OB is the angle bisector so these two angles are equal these two are exterior angle B by 2 this is also exterior angle B by 2 let's say this angle is 1 and this angle is let's say 2 these two angles are also equal angle 1 this is angle 1 angle 1 is nothing but exterior angle B of half of exterior angle B that is 180 minus angle B divided by 2 which is equals to 90 minus 180 by 2 that is 90 minus angle B by 2 now angle 2 is nothing but angle 2 is nothing but the half of the exterior angle C exterior angle C means 180 minus angle C divided by 2 which is equals to 90 minus angle C by 2 180 by 2 that is 90 minus angle C by 2 now in triangle BOC we apply the angle sum property in triangle BOC we apply the angle sum property that is angle BOC plus angle 1 plus angle 2 equals to 180 degree angle BOC plus for angle 1 we write 90 minus angle B by 2 and for 2 we write 90 minus angle C by 2 equals to 180 so here 90 plus 90 that is 180 this 180 is cancelled with this 180. 180 these are cancelled now angle BOC is equals to minus b by 2 or minus c by 2 are shifted to the right hand side become positive b by 2 plus c by 2 now taking the LCM we get 2 in the numerator we get angle b plus angle c and angle b plus c can be written as 180 minus angle a divided by 2 now 180 minus angle a divided by 2 can be written as 90 minus angle A by so this is the proof angle BOC is nothing but 90 minus angle A by 2 now there is one more proof regarding the triangle now we see one more one more result regarding the triangles that is let's say there is a triangle ABC and there is a bisector of the internal angle B of a triangle and there is a bisector of the exterior angle C of the triangle both are meeting at at the point let's say P 
VP is the bisector of the internal angle V and BC is the bisector of the exterior angle C and we have to prove that angle P is half of angle A. We have to prove that angle P we have to prove that angle P is equal to half of angle A. What we have given? We have given BP and BC are the bisector of bisector of interior angle B interior angle B and exterior angle C respectively of triangle ABC of triangle ABC now again now as we already know that BP is the bisector of the internal angle B so these two angles are equal let's say this angle is 1 now again uh, BC is the bisector of the exterior angle C so these two are equal let's say this angle is 2 now angle 1 is nothing but angle B the half of angle B and first of all now we calculate exterior angle C plus plus angle C is equal to 180 degree the exterior the sum of the exterior angle C plus angle C internal angle C equals to 180 degree therefore exterior angle C is equals to 180 minus angle C and angle 2 is nothing but the half of the exterior angle C now in place of exterior angle C we play we put 180 minus angle C divided by 2 now 180 by 2 we get 90 minus angle C by 2. now in triangle PVC in triangle PVC we apply the angle sum property in triangle PVC we apply the angle sum property that is angle 1 plus angle P plus plus angle C plus angle 2 angle C plus angle 2 equals to 180 degree in triangle VBC the V is nothing but angle 1 P is angle P and the angle C is angle C plus angle 2 the sum of angle C plus angle 2 now in place of angle 1 we put angle V1 the half of angle V plus angle P in place of angle C in place of angle 2 we write 90 minus angle C by 2 equals to 180 degree now angle P plus angle V by 2 now this C minus C by 2 we get plus C by 2 and this 90 is shifted to the right hand side now 180 minus 90 we get 90 now angle P plus we take the LCM 2 that is angle B plus angle C equals to 90 degree now angle P plus uh, in place of B plus C we again write 180 minus angle A by 2 equals to 90 degree now angle P plus 180 by 2 we get 90 minus angle A by 2 equals to 90 90 is cancelled with 90 we get angle P is equal to angle A by 2 this is our result so in this way we show that the angle P is equal to half of angle A now the another result related triangle that is let's say there is a triangle triangle ABC and let's say there is altitude AD AD is the altitude and AE is the angle bisector let's say AE is the angle bisector we have to show that that is angle DAE that is the angle between that is the angle between the altitude and the angle bisector is half of the difference of the base angles half of the difference of the base angle that is angle DAE is nothing but half 
difference of the base angle that is half of angle B minus C. This is we have to prove. What we have given? We have given there is a triangle ABC in which AD is perpendicular to BC and AE is angle bisector of angle A. So let's say this angle is 1, let's say this angle is 2 and this angle is 3. As we have given that AE is the angle bisector, therefore we can say that angle 1 plus angle 2 is nothing but equals to angle 3 because AE is the angle bisector. Now in triangle ABC, let's say in triangle ABD, we apply angle sum property that is angle 1 plus angle B plus 90 degree equals to 180 degree. So angle B is equal to 90 degree minus angle 1. Now same way in triangle ABC, we apply the angle sum property again that is angle 2 plus angle 3 plus 90 degree plus angle C equals to 180 degree. Now here we get angle C is equals to 180 sorry 180 minus 90 we get 90 90 minus angle 2 plus angle 3 I'll get minus now we find angle B minus angle C what should be angle B minus C let's say this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 now from 1 minus 2 we get 1 minus 2 we get angle B minus angle C is equal to 90 minus angle 1 A 90 minus angle A sorry 90 minus angle 1 here that is not angle A it is angle 1 so 90 minus angle 1 minus 90 minus minus getting plus angle 2 plus angle 3 so 90 90 cancelled we get minus angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 now as we know that uh, as we know that angle 1 plus angle 2 equals to 3 so angle 2 is nothing but angle 3 minus angle 1 angle 2 this implies that angle 2 is nothing but angle 3 minus angle 1 so for angle 3 minus 1 we put angle 2 so we get twice of angle 2 that is angle B minus angle C is equal to twice of angle 2 so angle 2 is nothing but half of angle B minus C or angle 2 is nothing but DAE this angle B minus angle C. So this is our desired result. Thank you.